Hey guys, it's Jasmine here today, and today I am doing a glam makeup look. And I also used powder before cream, so you'll see how that turns out in the video. And uh, and without further ado, let's get into the video. To start out, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the color Cafe. I haven't used this in a while, but I'm going to be priming my eyelids and also like carving out my brows at the same time. Right now is my spring break and literally I've been sick the entire spring break. Like I went to um, New York on Thursday, our spring break started on um, Friday but like I got an extra day. It was a day trip so like I went down right and um, on the way back I felt so hot like I don't know what was happening like I literally like I was burning up on the bus. It was terrible like coming back and it was three in the morning when we were coming back. I was tired. It was just not a good day. I'm just gonna set my lids with some translucent powder. Okay I'm probably only gonna be using this makeup palette today. The Lorac Pro Matte Palette and it literally has like the best shades for like a glam look. Because, you know, you just need some browns and then you need, like, a sparkly color, which I have, and you'll see in a second. So, I'm just going to be basically taking this um, palette and I'm taking um, corduroy. And it's a little the brown, more black like the instead of brown, brown, not the so darkest, but not the lightest. And I'm just going to be putting this in my this crease. Directly in my crease and so now, on a Luxie 229 brush, I'm going to be taking chocolate from the same palette. It's the darker brown. And I'm just going to be putting this um, on the outer corner of my lid. And uh, this brush makes a more defined crease. So I'm just going to be putting it in my crease as well. And just to like blend everything seamlessly, I'm going to be taking more corduroy and just going over the entire uh, crease. Okay, and now I'm going to be taking the Pure Metal Vial Fluid Eyeshadow by Absolute New York. And I don't know what the color is. It's in the color Copper. And I'm just going to be, um, I'm just going to be doing like a half cut crease look. I'm going to be taking the Morphe 35O palette. I lied, using more than one palette. I'm going to be taking uh, this color and this orangey color and just mixing them together. I'm going to be taking uh, this mini uh, deluxe flush, fluff brush. I don't know where it's from, sorry. <laughs> And now I am taking Jet Black from the palette and just blending the colors into each other. Using a little bit at the time so you don't pick up too much. And now I'm just taking that same brush, or the um, brush that we used for the crease and just blending everything together. I'm gonna do some liner, but I'm just gonna finish this eye and I'll be right back. I feel like there's like something missing in this eyeshadow look, so I'm gonna be taking the color that we mix with the um, orangey shade in the 35O palette, and I'm just gonna be putting that above my crease a little bit just to make it all blend together. I feel like it's a lot of like black and darkness, and then just this random orangey color, so. I'm just going to be adding a little bit more of it. Oh, and by the way, if I don't say this later, I'm using the Cara Eyelashes by, or Double Wispy Lashes by Cara. Are any of you, like, theater people? Like, I love the theater, and I want to become an actress. But, and then, um, I went to my school to New York, and we saw a musical First one on Broadway that I've ever seen, it, it was so good. It was um, Dear Evan Hansen. You have to watch it. I'm obsessed now. I'm honestly so obsessed. And so do I want a liner or do I not? I'm gonna think I'm gonna do no liner, you know? 
I haven't done that in a while. Gonna do it. So I'm just gonna be putting on these lashes and I'll be right back. It takes me a while. Now I'm just gonna add some mascara, the Maybelline Push Up Mascara. Just to make sure they are, my lashes are blended. Oh, ah, I got it in my eye. Okay. Now for primer, I'm going to be taking the e.l.f. Poreless Primer. I haven't used this a lot, but it's pretty good so far, you know? Just, you know, it's an, like it's, it's an e.l.f. primer, so it's not like the best, you know? But it does the job pretty well. Okay, I'm going to try like a new trick that um, Jackie Ina does a lot. If you guys haven't seen her on YouTube, literally like she reminds me of my mom a lot. If she, if my mom like did makeup and stuff like that. And I just really love her channel. I'm not going to go out in a lot of detail because we probably already know her. She's a big on YouTube and she does, she puts on loose powder before her foundation. So I'm going to try that. I am using the Mary Kay um, loose powder, and her makeup always turns out really good. And she uses less product because, um, because she uses this stuff on like a loose powder first. So I'm just gonna be putting it on, and a lot of people like don't like to use powder. First, like everyone's like forbidden it, but like her makeup is just flawless, so she must be doing something right. And now I'm gonna be using um, the Milani um, Conceal and Perfect Two in One Foundation. And since eleven amber is too dark or light for me, and twelve spice almond is too light or dark, I'm just gonna be mixing them together. Now for concealer, I'm going to be using the same concealer that I use for my eyes, the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. And where the um, foundation and the concealer mix, I just like to dab my beauty blender around it and just to make sure it's blended out. To set my under eyes, I'm using the Derma Blend Loose Setting Powder. Also, going to be setting my my left lines. And now, to set the rest of my face, I'm going to be using the Flower Blush and Bronzer Duo, and I'm just using the bronzer side to set the rest of my face and now I'm just gonna wipe away the bake with a smaller brush I first brush all of it away and just take the um beauty blender and just go right over it now for actual bronzer i'm using the maybelline master con master contour kit use this a lot love it it's still gonna works. need a darker one or a darker contour soon because i'm getting dark now i'm just gonna take the elf contouring brush and just use the same bronzer to contour my nose I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna go back to my Milani Big Blush in Bellissimo, Bellissimo Bronze. And now for a highlight, I'm using the um, Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick Compact. I use this way too much. And I like a big pop and highlight. Yes, thank you. Mm -hmm. 
Now I'm going to be trying a different lip primer today. I'm just going to be using two lip liners, the NYX one in Mahogany, and then this Sephora one in, where is the color? In Rose. So I'm going to be putting some clear gloss over it. For setting spray, I'm going to be taking the LA Girls Pro setting spray, spritzing my face. I put a lot on. I totally forgot about the lower lash line. I'm just going to be putting some mascara down there. What the heck? How did I forget this step? Like... Alright guys, that brings us to the end of this tutorial today. Thank I hope you guys like this glam look today. And um, don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it today. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. And also follow me on show blah, social media. They'll be um, down below, but I will also have them on the screen. And um, thank you guys so much for watching. Comment down below if you like this look. And comment down below if you like the um, lip combo today that I did. And I'll see you guys on Mondays and Thursdays. Bye!